Secretary, former Secretary General of the Commonwealth. Um, what was your proudest achievement in the 15 years you were Secretary General? That's a very difficult choice. There were several moments, of, not just of achievement by me, but several moments of achievement by the Commonwealth. Uh, obviously, Africa was a big part of that. But, you know, if you have to identify uh, a particular achievement of the Commonwealth in the years that I was involved with it, I think it is the respect that the Commonwealth earned in the international community. It had gravitated from being a kind of intimate club uh, to being a grouping that the world recognized as an asset in multilateral diplomacy. And I'm glad to say that I think the Commonwealth in those years delivered, lived up to that expectation. We didn't solve all the world's problems. We helped to solve a few of them. And that was a, a very good reward. Okay. So if we turn to today and the, and the challenges ahead, how do you think the Commonwealth is going to gain further respect? What is the Commonwealth, what's the 21st century challenge that the Commonwealth is going to be best well, known there, isn't, there isn't any one challenge. There, there will be many challenges. And uh, I don't think the Commonwealth needs to go through our shopping list of what are the things we can do. Uh, the Commonwealth has to respond to the needs, first of all, of its member states uh, and of its member states in uh, a quite tumultuous international community. And in that process, it has got to help multilateralism because that is the environment of its membership. Uh, and it must respond to those things. You know, people remember my years. Uh, by Zimbabwe and South Africa, apartheid and UDI, and yes, we did that. But we did a lot of other things. Uh, the economic development dimension uh, of the Secretary's work in those days was enormous uh, and made an impact in the international community. The whole business of expert groups was something that the Commonwealth Secretariat nurtured and the international community looked to benefit from and did. Uh, so we've got to not pick what we want to work at. We have to respond to the things we need to work at.